Well, last night in Omaha, author Jennifer Chavarini visited with her readers. The New York Times bestselling author is touring the country talking about this. It's and her new book. Yeah, and we're happy to welcome her to the Morning Blend this morning. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, good to Hi, see you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. It's great to be swinging, here. Swinging. I know you got a short time window this morning, mm -hmm. but uh, thanks for stopping by. What's this new book about? Well, it's about First Lady Julia Dent Grant and her relationship not only with her husband, the famous general and later president, but also with uh, a woman that she kept as her slave. Mm -hmm. And I first discovered her when I was researching some of my earlier Civil War uh, historical fiction, and I was just astonished when I learned that the wife of a very well-known abolitionist from Ohio would have also been a slave owner. And so mm -hmm. that idea of how that marriage could have worked, how that relationship could have happened during the Civil War really inspired me to explore more about these two women. And the yeah. dynamic between them. How much research went into this book and then on average uh, how much do you look into those stories? Well, it's very important for me to try to give my reader an accurate idea of what the period would have been like for my characters. So I always start by doing some general background reading about a historical period, but then two sources that I really enjoy looking into are memoirs. First person accounts, most of the time pretty accurate mm -hmm. by the people who were involved. And then I also like reading letters that have been preserved. And we're very fortunate that Ulysses S. Grant wrote a lot of letters to his wife, Julia. She didn't write to him quite as much as he would have liked, mm -hmm. but his letters to her were very informative, not only about his time on the battlefield and during the military cam campaigns, but also about his feelings and his concerns, things he would only express to his wife. Life mm. and wouldn't show up in an official military document. That's amazing because it gives you a great historical pr perspective as well. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about your writing style and your, your periods? Are you always uh, writing in the Civil War era? or And then how does this tie into quilts? Well, I don't always write about the Civil War era, but it is a very fascinating time period for me because it is so rich with storytelling possibilities. Not only was it a profound conflict for our country, our entire American experience, experiment could have just ended right there, yeah. but also because we see both the best of what we are as a country and mm. as a people and the very worst. We see some horrible cruelty and all of the uh, devastation of war, but we also see people rise to incredible acts of heroism and self-sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about Mr. Grant? I mean, you were talking about his letters and things, but m maybe even someone who enjoys history might not know about him. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we knew that he was a, a very successful general. Um, he certainly had his critics during his day and continues to mm -hmm. now, but I had no idea what a devoted husband and father he was, how compassionate he was, how much he enjoyed just playing with his children. We have this idea of him as this very stern, mm -hmm. strict, state, straightforward general. Some even said he was too bloodthirsty. But then when I read some of the primary documents, I see that he really just loved just spending time with his children. And that's an interesting juxtaposition of those yeah. two characteristics. Yeah, very interesting. I'm going to get this out of you. How does this tie back to quilts? <laughs> well, how does this book doesn't really... Yeah. But your writing style, it seems like you have, you're very involved in quilts. Oh, yeah. Well, I did write the Elm Creek Quilt series mm -hmm. in uh, 20 volumes. Some contemporary stories, some historical, some that like to bridge generations. Mm -hmm. um, but this particular novel doesn't really focus on quilting. Yeah. Will you have any more out of that series, though? I don't really plan to. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm so excited about the Civil War historical fiction I'm writing right now mm -hmm. that, you know, you never know, though. Um, usually while I'm researching and writing one book, I'm inspired yeah. with an idea for my next. I read you've got a book coming out, though, at the holidays. Yes, Is I that, do. What's it about? I do. I have another story coming out, another novel coming out in the fall mm -hmm. called Christmas Bells. And this is one of those stories that bridges different eras. It focuses on Longfellow and the poem that he wrote with this, mm -hmm. by the same name, Christmas Bells. He wrote it during the Civil War at a period when he was experiencing a lot of personal tragedy, and yet it's a wonderfully uplifting poem. And I was intrigued by this, how someone experienced their own tremendous loss 
could write something so hopeful and mm -hmm. uplifting. And so I wanted to learn more about that. Oh, and at the holidays. Oh, yes. What it, a time it, for it. Right. It's fun to write about Christmas. Mm -hmm. I you met with that. Uh, some of your readers in Omaha last night. What are some of the common questions you get? Because, like you said, the Elm Creek series is very popular. Mm -hmm. Well, it was wonderful meeting with readers at the Bookworm yesterday, and there are lots of signed copies there if anybody mm -hmm. wants to pick some up. But they like to hear about my writing process and a lot of the same questions you ask, too, how I do my research and where my ideas come from. Mm -hmm. Uh, looking ahead, do you think you'll change direction at some point? or Because you continue to evolve in that way. Well, I do plan to keep writing yeah. because I love writing. I've loved writing and I've wanted to be a writer ever since I learned how to mm. read many, many years ago. So I do hope to continue writing. But my stories really have covered all different eras, not only our contemporary times and the Civil War era, mm -hmm. but I've also written about Prohibition, the Prohibition era, mm -hmm. and World War II. So really, all I need is that little idea, something to kindle that spark of my mm -hmm. imagination, and I never know where it will take me, but yeah, I but certainly do enjoy it. It always ties back to history with you. Is mm -hmm. that the best way to get your readers to get in touch with you is Elm Creek? Net, your um, website? They can go there or they can go to jennifercheverini.com. Uh, that might be a little more difficult to spell, so you yeah. can go with Elm Creek or just Google me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm also on Facebook, so you can look for me there too. You're not hard to find. Not really. I no. hope the rest of the tour goes well for you. Oh, thank you yeah. so thank much. You. Thanks, nice Jennifer. to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Next, uh, one of a kind. It's off road motorcycle racing. How speed and height keep fans on the edge of their seats. And later, an upcoming celebration of Irish culture, the roles of music and dance as world-class Irish dancer Marty Dowds. He's going to perform right here in the studio.